Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we are going to take your airfoil that we've spent some time designing and trying to find a good lift to drag ratio. And we are going to take the measurements off of this right here and design it to actually 3D print or just cut out. So here we go. First of all, you've got something that you've been working on and you think you've got it all right. So this is the last chance you can make any changes. Um, as we flip through the directions, a couple things, we want to make sure that we edit the flight, we're using an airfoil, we're on earth, uh, we set our speed to 40 miles an hour. So again, we're, we've got an airfoil um, and um, on the airfoil, we've got our, we're going to edit our size and our cord is going to be 0.3 and span is going to be 1 and we're going to uh angle of attack is going to be zero so angle of attack at zero you can always adjust this let me just since this is i'm just going to leave it there uh flight is on earth we're going to set the miles per hour to 40 altitude is at zero because if we do this then it jumps to a thousand um so we're a little bit closer to zero uh then we're going to go to uh this right here we're going to keep everything on so it's realistic um and then let's see size there we go so on the size you're going to want to um have you're going to want to have your cord at uh was it point cord at point three so i gotta adjust mine a little bit and uh the span is going to be one and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to grab all of the X and the Y there. So you're going to hit size, you're going to hit geometry, and we want to copy all of this. So I'm highlighting it all and I'm hitting control C. Now we're going to work on this on our Google Sheet. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're in the right tab. So at the very bottom, we're going to hit paste and calculate. So we're going to paste. That's not right. Let me try grabbing that again. There we go. Highlight again. Come on, computer. Work with me. Control C. Paste. There we go. That looks better. All right, let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> All right. We've got a whole bunch of numbers here, so let's simplify this a little bit. So first of all, let's highlight rows one, two, and three. We don't need that. We are going to delete that. We don't need rows 20 and 21. We are 20, 21, and 22. So we're going to delete, right click and delete that. Um, for row, uh, for column A, we want to split it. So you're going to highlight column A, you're going to go to data, and you are going to go to split text, and you're going to change this to split text at spacebar. Okay, let's add a, let's add a row. So I'm going to click on um, row one, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go right above there. So this is going to be our X, and this is going to be our Y, and actually column C and D we don't need. So let's delete those too. Okay, so this is going to turn into this. You already have, the, these are all of these points right here. Now, this is for like a one inch wing. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a new X and a new Y. And we want to multiply that by four. So I want my X to go equals this times four. So I simply hit equal sign. I clicked on A2. I clicked on uh, shift eight, which is the multiplication or the asterisk. And then I clicked, the, typed in the number four. I hit enter. And you could do that for every single thing. Or you can highlight this and drag it all the way down. There we go. So as I scroll through there, you can see all the different A1 through A40 or 39 is all times four. Let's do the same thing for the Ys. So equals our Y column, which in my case is B2, 
times four, hit enter. Let's put that all down. All right. Now, if I delete these, it's going to then delete these. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our new shape. So I'm going to highlight columns D and E. If I copy and paste that, it gives us bad reference. So you're going to highlight D and E. We're going to go to data and then we're going to go to name our range. We're going to name our range airfoil and we're going to hit done. Then we're going to go back into this query tab. This query, we're going to simply type equals query hit enter, and then type in airfoil. As you start typing it in, it pops up right there. Go ahead and hit enter, and it brings in that tab, that section that you just made. Okay, this is a great place to take a pause, make sure you have it all done, and you are ready to then take this to Autodesk Inventor. So this part one is all done. Take a break, stand up. Good job. Come back for part two.